Hi everyone, I hope you're doing alright. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Newcastle beat Hull City 2 0. It's St James's Park today, and this is the last word. Right then, hi everyone. So, Newcastle have beaten another championship side, which is, I guess, good news, isn't it? I know it's not Premier League sides, but it'll probably give the lads a lot of confidence. So, this is the last word. What we'll be doing is we'll have a look at the how Bruce selected the first team first half and then the first team second half. We'll also have a look at those two goals in the first half and we'll also get a bit of reaction as well towards the end of the video. But, first things first, again, we're banging the drum on this. Get on NFTV Extra, our second channel. I've done a couple of uploads, Owen's done a couple and Paul's done the most the last few weeks. So please head over there, we've been battering it, we've got loads of more tuned videos on NFTV Extra, our second channel. And of course, if you need your beers in, ready for take overnight, or you know, get them in for the football, for the Premier League, coming back, because let's face it, you're not going to be going to the ground. Beer 52, our sponsors, can give you eight beers, eight for the price of delivery, which is just five ninety five, and you get them free. Not a contract, and cancel it after that as well. So you're laughing. Get your beers in. Why not? Check that one. Check that out in the description. Come on, Lee, you can speak. But let's have a look at the uh, the first team, the first half as well. So interestingly, um, well, the formation that Bruce has continued to play. Is, we'll talk about that in a second. But it was Martin Dubravka in goal. And then it was Yondre Yedlin playing right back. He played the full 90, which was interesting. Florin Ajun and Federico Fernandez, who also, he played the full 90. Danny Rose was left back. And then you had Javi Manquio advance over on that right-hand side. You had Alan St. Maximum on the left. Almira was floating in behind in the 10. Sitting behind those front three were Shelby and Bentleb and then if we move back forward further up the pitch it was Joe Litton up top and what's interesting what I've noticed so far in the three friendlies that Bruce has played the one at St James's Park against the first team against the first team the one against Millsbrough the other day and the one against Hull today he's continued to play a 4-2-3-1 formation yes he has moved a couple of players around that's probably because not everyone's available but that's interesting he's it seems that he's got rid of the wing back system because before lockdown we changed it and we played four at the back and we looked a lot more better going forward and it looks that way that we're going to go into the Sheffield United next weekend playing four at the back which is which is I think it's a good thing because you kind of keep playing five at the back against every single side you've got to mix it up a little bit but that was the first team let's check the goals out so the first one came from Goodison Park hero Florian Lejeune Shelby whips it in and there he is there's Florian Lejeune to score to put Newcastle 1-0 up obviously he hasn't had the greatest of seasons injured for a big chunk of it and struggled to get in that side before uh, coronavirus hit were but uh, yeah 1-0 up Newcastle and it wasn't too long until we went 2-0 up Alan St Maximum crowd favourite slots at bottom corner and obviously he's going to be a key figure for the rest of the season for us Newcastle go 2-0 up and you're thinking this is cruise control this is pretty easy eventually when it came into the second half the subs were all changed. Bruce kept the same formation, but interestingly, a couple of players moved position. Javier Manquillo went to left back. Obviously, he played the full 90. And Fabian Shea up to defensive midfield. Again, similar to what he was at Middlesbrough. He's moved up. So he's played centre back, moved up to defensive midfield in both games, which was interesting. That lineup for the second half, once the subs were done, it was Carl Darlow and goal. Yedlin, as I mentioned, continued to play at right back. Emil Kraft coming at centre back. He's played there a couple of substitute roles this this season. Fernandez and Mancio was left back. And then the two sitting, Isaac Hayden was brought on and Fabian Shea. And then he had the three behind the striker, which was Matt Ritchie, Valentino Lazaro, and um, Mutu who played there and it was great to see Andy Carroll back Andy Carroll hasn't played since Rochdale I believe which has been a good five or six months since we've seen Andy Carroll back in a Newcastle shirt will he, will he start against Sheffield United? No but it's a fantastic option to have off the bench because remember Bramall Lane Andy Carroll was absolutely sensational in that 2-0 win he was brilliant but it was great to see Andy Carroll back the only negatives probably to come from that it was disappointing not to say Paul Dummett doesn't look like the Premier League are going to be changed in their rules. So it looks like he's not going to play for the rest of the season. Jamal Sells was injured. Let's hopefully that's not too serious. No Kieran Clark. No Chris and Atsu. Both the long staffs. 
injured. I don't know what's happening there with Matty. Sean was involved in, I think, in the, in the first game at St James's Park against the first team. He wasn't against Millsbury. He wasn't a day, so let's just hope the Matty situation with the contractors I've touched upon gets sorted out. And no Dwight Gale either. So, I think it's good run out. As I mentioned, playing four at the back, Bruce is going to play there. A couple of players have moved around position like Mankio and Fabian Shea the last two games. But I think once everybody's fit, I uh, very much doubt you'll see those two moved into another position when the Premier League kicks back. But uh, this is the reaction. We win 2-0 and I think it's good to, to win a friendly game before to, to start uh, against Sheffield. It's a little bit difficult to play with nobody in the stadium, but... You have to start like this and understand uh, for sure against Sheffield everything will be different. That's why we, we work hard for, for be ready and play very good against Sheffield. I feel good, I try to improve, I try to help uh, more my team and if I can help my, uh, my team with assist or goal, I'm really happy to do that. So Newcastle march on, unknown whether they will play another friendly before next weekend game, whether Bruce thinks that's enough for now because we're playing next Sunday, which is, of course, all the games are going to be live. So, interesting because the whole one got word out in the last 48 hours. But um, we'll, we'll see if there's another friendly. I doubt it, mind. But we'll keep an eye on it. We'll, we'll report on it. Tomorrow we've got the live show again back with all the gang. We're going to be talking about the two friendlies a little bit more in depth. We're going to be talking about the past seven days' news. And we're going to be looking at the championship can Newcastle pinch one of the stars in the championship? Obviously, Les Ferdinand has his say on one of his own players in that live stream, so keep an eye out for that. That's at 6 pm, will be live on YouTube and Twitter. Have a good weekend. Tell everyone. Bye bye.